Are you tired of wasting your hard-earned money on shitty kitchen gadgets that don't work? Vivian calls the BS. With Vivian Tries, you just sit back and enjoy, just like being in your kitchen with a good old friend. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have for you another as seen on television product and a whole lot of other things. But today we are trying this thing, the modern way to open your jars, the Robo Twist. It's 2018 you guys and in the infomercial they said they have a robot for everything. So they've invented a robot to open up your jars. <laughs> Shouldn't there be a robot for this by now? There is. Introducing Robo Twist. They said this thing can open up pretty much any jar. It's going to help older people. It's going to help people with weak hands. It's going to help people with arthritis, muscle pain. This is the gadget for you. And if you look around my table here, you're going to see I have all sizes and shapes of twisty tops that we're going to try to take off with this thing because in that infomercial they said that you can have pretty much any twist top jar and this thing is going to be able to open it the robotic jar opener that easily twists off even the toughest lids i found little ones medium ones big ones hard ones plastic ones metal ones all kinds i have a feeling that it's not going to open up this guy i have a feeling it might not open up this guy and i have a feeling it's going to be slow as hell you're going to have to go do some other shit in your kitchen. <laughs> I think this thing is going to be so slow. You have to fucking go check the fucking mail and come back and your jar is going to be open. I have a feeling this is not going to be like quick, 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 quick. No. Take your time. Get some coffee. Come back. Your jar is open. <laughs> in the infomercial, they have the lady banging on the jar like that with a knife. And they're saying these old ways don't work. I'm like. Stop wasting time trying techniques that never work. For who? That shit works for me every time. Or I'll stick a knife in there and I'll pop that shit open. Or I hit it from the bottom like that. Opens every time. Hasn't failed me yet. So I don't know what you're talking about. In that infomercial, they have this big strong man with this poor little old lady opening up a jar and neither of them can get it open. <laughs> Let's face it, even the strongest of us sometimes meet our match. Robo Twist has the muscle you need. The infomercial is super dramatic. There's a lady opening up a nasty ass sticky jar of jam. <laughs> like the jam is somehow. <laughs> that sticky jar of jam. Robo Twist gets it done. Who wrote that fucking commercial? The jam is on the outside of the jar, but the jar is closed. Somebody. <laughs> Did you not clean that shit before you put it back in your refrigerator? That's nasty. You don't need a robot gadget. You need a robot uh, maid to clean your house. Because <laughs> who the hell puts away their jam jar with literally jam around it? Come on now. Somebody did not think that commercial through. How about the jam ooze out after we pop it open? Instead of having the jam on the outside of the jar before you even open up the jar. Come on, man. Do you know where that's from? <laughs> that's my husband's favorite line. <laughs> I copied it from him. He said, come on, man. <laughs> I know he's listening to me film. And he'll be like, oh, you copied my line. <laughs> I'm like, no, fool, that's from the ESPN people. That's not your line. <laughs> Electric jar opener. Is this considered electric? Is that what we call battery powered stuff? We call them electric. Does it have a plug? I feel like if it has a plug, then it can be called electric. But if it doesn't have a plug, look at the size of this thing. It's compact for easy storage when not in use. So they say this thing is compact. That shit ain't compact. This would have been compact. This is not compact. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, right? Nobody thinks this is compact. <laughs> Nobody thinks that. <laughs> Nobody. There is a warning on the front of it. It says, when placing batteries in unit, Robo Twist will automatically reset to starting position. There's another warning in the front that says, do not touch moving parts 
while it's operating. Okay, because you're gonna jam your damn finger. It's a little bit of common sense. Okay, let's put in our batteries. Got it, wait. Okay, batteries are in. How come it's not going back to the uh, starting position like it told me? Maybe it's already at the starting position, huh? Because it's open wide. No? Okay, I don't want to touch nothing because I don't want it to do anything yet. I did put the batteries in right because I checked. Let me look at the instructions real quick. Set it down, press the button, and watch it work. So it's telling you to remove all paper or plastic like this guy right here. You got to remove it off your jar first. It has that warning again. Do not touch it. You don't need me here? Should I leave? <laughs> Do not touch the unit while it's on. Do not have hair, jewelry, or anything that's gonna tangle up in that mofo close to it because you're about to have a bald spot. <laughs> that's, that's not a cute look. <laughs> Could you imagine if your pearls got stuck in there, choked to death? <laughs> the paramedics can go, what the fuck happened in this one? <laughs> Murdered by the robo twist. That would be an embarrassing death. So keep your pearls clutched <laughs> and up close to your body, not to the unit. Just take off the pearls. Let's get started with our garlic. Just place it on the top, easy peasy. Grab your pearls, girls, and just push the button for three. How come it turned on and I didn't even touch it? Is that gonna turn on in the middle of the fucking night? Set it down, press the button, and watch it work. Okay, Vivian, that was only one second. First, the RoboStrong vise locks down tight. Then the powerful twisting action unscrews the lid. What the hell? Why isn't it going on its own? Oh. Oh, this little piece is loose, I think. Okay, come on now. Just like the infomercial. Robo Twist has the muscle you need. Fuck her. Okay, it's not super fast, but it's not too slow. This little piece here is not completely on. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna say this is a medium jar. I'm gonna say that one passed because it did. Let's try this one. It's a little bit bigger. Put it on top. One, two, three, go. What? Okay, it took over. Oh. I'm, why am I scared? Wait! No, no. It's not getting it. It didn't get it. Hey, go back. <laughs> Is it, can I stop it? Okay. I need you to open up wider because this is a, a wide map. How, what you gonna do with this big ass lid over here? You better open up wide. Even the toughest stuck jars don't stand a chance. Maybe I have to hold it down and then push this so it can grab the lid. Did it grab it? I'm scared. No, no, no. Like I'm scared this thing is gonna... That's, no, not so much. It needs to have a stop button. Press and hold the start button. The outer jaws will begin to move in. Release the button when the outer jaws pause and the inner jaws start to move in. Okay, so you have to hold it there for a second until it gets a grip. It says that once it opens, it will return to its original position. That is not in its original position. So this is as wide as it's gonna get. One more time and we're giving up on this one. We're gonna call it a fail. This thing scares me because I'm scared it's gonna squeeze the hell out of the jar and the jar is gonna explode. No, too much? <laughs> Here we go. Push it down. Hold it. Get it, get it, get it. No. Wait. No. See, you need a button to turn it off. This part is annoying. A couple of design tips. I need a fucking emergency stop button like they have at the gas station, you know? You need two additional buttons. You need an emergency stop button in case my pearls get stuck. You need a quick release and rewind button because now I have to wait for it to close and open it back. No, that's too much. That's too much. I done busted the jar on the floor and just said, fuck it. <laughs> Bad jar of gravy? Not a problem. 
That was a fail. So we have a pass and we have a fail. Let me see. Maybe. No. We're gonna leave that to the end so I can bust this open. That's what's gonna happen. And it also has the finesse to handle delicate jobs too. Let's try the salad dressing. We have to take off completely. Let's do that so I don't have any crybabies in my comments telling me I did it wrong. Put it on the top. This one should be easy peasy. Hold it. Okay, let it go. You're not done. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Ew, I'm scared. Yes. Why am I scared? Oh my God, I think it worked. Yes, it worked. Every time I do this, it seems like it's taking longer and longer. Let's see. It opened it. Okay, so you gotta get used to holding the button and waiting for it to close. Let's try this guy. There's nothing for it to grip down here. One, two, three, go. Maybe. It's gonna squeeze my water. Oh no. It's gonna open it. What? It opened it. That was impressive. I did not think this little plasticky part down here was gonna come off. I thought it was gonna be too hard for it. Ready? One, two, three, go. Come on. No? That was 56 seconds from start to finish. Can you try this one? Or this one? Or how about this one? That's a long time. I could have... In like 30 seconds. All the old school techniques would have worked faster than that. It did nothing. I have the hardest time opening up oil. Like literally, this is a new bottle because obviously I need to get it open, but even the bottles that I open, you have teeth mark around the rim here because I'm like this. <laughs> okay, let it go. <gasps> yes, it did open it, look. It actually worked on these four products here, which is really impressive. Whether the jar is big, or a small Robo Twist can open them all. It did not work on these three products. The pickles are a huge disappointment because this is what they actually have in the infomercial that they're using as their example in a lot of the little clips. That right there is not that big. It actually might be the jar that's causing the issue. This one was disappointing too because it has a good grip from this little arm and this arm. It can't twist it off for whatever reason. So unfortunately, this is for like basic ass jars like this. Now, one thing that I have heard from you guys in the comments about these types of openers is that these things drain the batteries like crazy. If it's only gonna open up these types of jars, I think it's a little overpriced. I think this thing needs to be like $9.99. The two design tips, a release button and a rewind button. You need that. With all that said, I'm still surprised that it did such a good job with these guys because I did not think it was gonna work at all. I just thought the infomercial made it sound a little too cheese balls for me. I'm gonna give the Robo Twist three Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.